Hi, welcome back to my City Supper Series. My name's Luke Thomas, I'm from Luke's Dining Room and Retro Feasts. In this episode, I'm going to be cooking uh, Oriental Baked Sea Bass with sauteed Pak Choy. Okay, so the sea bass I'm going to bake in um, a bag which I'm going to make out of parchment paper. Um, it's a fillet of wild sea bass. You can get farmed or wild sea bass. Um, I've taken the fillet, scored it across the top simply because with it being in the bag we want to inject as much flavour as possible into the bass um, and with the chilli, the garlic, the lime and all of the other aromats we want to try and get as much flavour in there as possible. So basically what I'm going to do is take a touch of, so basically a couple of slices of lime just like so and then some red chilli and use green chilli if you want but we don't want it to be too harsh or too hot just a few slices like so and then again some spring onion a few slices of spring onion also don't forget to check out the description box um, for full details of this recipe and also a breakdown of all the ingredients. Um, so again, touch of lime, chilli, spring onion with the garlic. Just a few little slices of garlic, like so. And then basically what we're going to do is we've got our sea bass here. Take this bag like so. We'll season the bottom of the bag. We're going to put the sea bass. Sea bass goes straight on top, and then just build it up. So a couple of slices, lime, some of the nice chili, spring onion on there, a little touch of garlic as well, and then a few little pieces of butter just on top, and then a touch of white wine. This will help also steam the sea bass and also help make the dressing at the end. So just small dash about a tablespoon of white wine and then what we do is fold over the bag like so and then basically all we're going to do is just scrunch the bag up like this again it doesn't have to be perfect it's just so it seals it like so go goes onto a tray in the oven 180 degrees for eight to ten minutes The sea bass has had 10 minutes in the oven now, so it's time to come out. And what we're going to do is just leave that just there to rest for a minute. Um, whilst that is resting, I've got a wok on the stove, getting really, really nice and hot. So in here, just a touch of olive oil. And what we're going to do first is get a couple of cloves of garlic. I'm just going to crush them, because what can often happen is that when you slice the garlic and put it into a hot pan, it burns very, very quickly. So if you just take some crushed garlic in there, just all we want to do is just release some of the flavour into the oil. And then we've got uh, some pat choy here, which we're going to put straight in. And again, just some salt, a touch of pepper. And just use some tongs to let that wilt. And then basically a little touch of soy sauce. That's it, very, very simple. So as you see, it's all wilted down. Soy sauce has just deglazed the pan slightly. And then we get a bowl, just like this, to serve that in. Just to go. The sea bass is rested now. The pak choy is done. So I'm just going to take a plate, take some of this really, really nice pak choy, Sit that on the base of the plate and then we'll take the sea bass like so. This is what the series is really all about. Quick, simple, tasty food, but really, really impressive. You know, there's not a lot of elements on the plate here, but the flavours are there um, and it's really, really achievable at home. So we take our sea bass fillet and just sit that straight on top, like so. And then what we want to do, this bag will be absolutely full of flavour. So just take a little touch of soy sauce, stir that in, and that is our little dressing. 
a little squeeze of lemon juice and then very very simply just stir that again and we just get that straight on top like so that's it really really simple so oriental baked sea bass with sauteed pak choy as you'll see this is really really quick simple tasty delicious perfect for quick evening suppers or even for dinner parties at home full of flavor it's impressive it's simple to prepare uh, so I hope you've enjoyed this recipe. Please don't forget to watch next time and subscribe to our YouTube channel.